how to find repetitions in Excel, values that repeat itself, or rows that repeat itself. In the first example, we have something, let's say, easier to solve. I have a list of names, and as you can see, Christina appears two times in this list. So, how can I count those repetitions, and how can I find... I don't want to get rid of the repetitions, I want to find the repetitions. The second example, we have something that is more laborious. However, I'm going to show a very simple way to do. Let's say I have some orders, such as this one right here, or the yellowish one, as we can notice, that the order number is the same, the product is the same, the quantity, the price, the customer, and the payment. Everything is the same. So I need to get rid of this row, the second row. However, the purplish order, as we can notice, also has the same order number. However, the product is different. So I don't need to get rid of this order because the same customer purchased different products for the same order ID. So let's start with the first example and let's see how can we count the repetitions using only one column and in the second example how to use multiple columns as a criteria. But anyway, let's start with the easiest example. In this first example, I only have one column, so it's very simple to solve. Let's say I have a list with many different names or items or products, doesn't matter. In the next column, the column to the right or in any other column, I can type in, let's say, count because I want to count those repetitions and to do this calculation i can use equals sign and then count if count if let me double click in this function one two to enable and then i have two arguments the first one is the range and the second one is the criteria let's start with the first one range my range is where i have the names the list so let's select here click hold and drag I can either do a selection like this or I can click on the letter of the column because it's much easier to select everything that I have. So I'm going to stick with the second option. Click on the, the letter, the name of the column. Comma. Now we are at the criteria. And my criteria is the first name here to the left, Laura. And then close parentheses and then hit enter. So this function or this result is going to retrieve how many times this name right here appears in my list. Only one time, once. But let me, at the bottom right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down, or I can double click to make sure I can copy one, two, this formula to all the rows that I have. And as we can see, Christina appears two times in this list. And of course, it's true. The first one is here, the second one is here, so two times. I also have some names such as Samuel that appears three times in the list. And with we go down, maybe there are some names such as Hunter that appears five times in the list. But where is the another repetition to this name right here, Hunter? I don't actually know. So how can I know and how can I find all the repetitions for all the names the repeat itself. I can select both of those columns or all the columns that I have and then home tab here to the right I can go to sort and filter and I can check the option filter. Now I have the filters in Excel and I can click on the count and let's say I want to see everything that is equal to five and then okay. As we notice Hunter is the only name that appears five times in my list. But if I move to a different condition, let's say three, I can see all the names that appear three times. And if I take here, let's say Jose, uh, only three times in the list. However, where is the another or are the another appearances for this name? I can go now to the name itself and I can check a name that I want to see, such as Jose here, okay? And that's it. So. In the row 32, 59, and 69. 
that's it. So this is how we can count the repetitions and also this is how we can find those repetitions. And to get rid of the filter, let me select everything again. And in the same place as before, sort and filter, I can filter it again. But this time I can disable the filter. Now let's move on to the second example to solve. Here I have the date, the order, the product, the quantity, the price, the customer, and the payment method. But anyway, the columns that are important for me, as we saw before, are the order, because it can indicate whether or not a row is being repeated. As we can see here, the same order with the same products. So, of course, I need to get rid of the second row. As we can see right here, too, I have the same order, however, for different products, item A, item B, item C, and so forth. So I don't need to get rid of those orders or those rows, because even though I have the same number, the products are different. But anyway, how can I combine those columns as only one criteria to know where, whether or not I have a repetition? I can again use a helper column, here to the right, let's say column J. And the thing that I want to do here is I want to couple some columns. So coupled columns, enter. How can I couple or combine or group together informations in Excel? Equals, sign, and then let's use the first column. If you have multiple columns, let's say three, four, five, it's going to work in the same way. You only need to select all those columns. The first one is the cell B2, and I want to combine coupled with the column C. And to combine things, I can use the ampersand, this sign right here, ampersand. Second column, OK. If I hit Enter, I can group together two different columns, order and product. And if you have more columns, you can continue to do this method, OK? The first cell, ampersand, the second cell, ampersand, the third cell, and so forth, okay? Now, let me click at the bottom right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down, because that way I can make sure I cut all those, all this formula down. Now, in the next column, we're going to do the same method as before, count, and I want to count all those values that I have here and see if they repeat or not. Equal sign, count if. Double click one, two. The range is going to be the column J, the entire column, comma. My criteria is going to be the name to the left and then enter. As we can notice, this order right here with this item, this information that is grouped together appears two times in my list. Where is the second time? Where, where can I see the second appearance of this item, let's say, or this order? I don't know, but we can filter those informations after we've done with this calculation. So let me, at the bottom right corner of the cell, double click. One, two, okay, that's it. Now, if we select both of those columns and apply some filters, filter, we can sort everything that is equal to, let's say, two, okay? We can see all the repetitions, but let me check a, a specific order, maybe A944, okay? As we can notice right here now, I can see that in the row three and four, I have a repetition. And it's true. The same customer, the same payment, the same price, the same quantity, the same product for the same order in the same date. So of course, it's being repeated and I can get rid of the second row. So I can select everything here, right click, and then delete row. Simple as that. So this, that, that's it guys. This is how we can seek and find the repetitions in Excel throughout many, many different columns or using only one single column. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you have any doubts or you want to learn something new, let me know, comment down below, and I see you in the next one.